India has launched a rocket to Mars with hope of becoming the first Asian nation to put a satellite in orbit around the red planet. The mission, known as Mangalyan, was announced only 15 months ago by Prime Minister Manmohan Singh shortly after a failed attempt by China. South Asia correspondent Michael Edwards is in New Delhi. So far, so good. The rocket took off successfully. It is now in Earth's orbit. It has to stay in Earth's orbit for around a month. It needs to build up momentum to be able to break Earth's gravitational pull and then take that momentum and start its voyage to Mars. Now, the voyage will take around 300 days, so there is still a long way to go. How ambitious is this project in general for a country like India? Are hugely ambitious. The only space programs which have managed to send a, a probe to Mars before are the big countries, and I'm talking about Europe, the United States and Russia. Japan and China have both tried and failed with their Mars probes, and India, India is a lot poorer than both of those countries. The cost of it is significant for India, but they've done it on what would be a sixth of the budget that one of the major countries, one of the major space players, be they Russia or the United States, would have done. And so they've had to do it all on the cheap. But the the um, the, the distances and the, uh, the complications of this type of space travel are enormous, and they've really taken on a big challenge. As you mentioned there, the cost of it, it's apparently meant to cost around 73 million US dollars. Has there been any concern about the price tag for a country like India that's known for its endemic poverty, or is it simply a moment of national pride? Look, there's a lot of national pride here, and there's a lot of people saying that the, the spin-offs in terms of scientific and technical breakthroughs will be significant. But yes, there is a lot of questioning as to whether or not a country which has 800 million people living under the poverty line can afford even that level of money to go and explore the stars or indeed explore the solar system when so many people are struggling to put food on the table and the, and the country needs so many more welfare programs and so much more critical infrastructure. And what exactly does India hope to achieve from having a satellite orbit the red planet. There are scientific breakthroughs it wants to, to try to achieve. It's got a methane sensor up on, up with the payload, which they hope to, to find out whether or not there are traces of methane in the Martian atmosphere, which, which is a key ingredient to life. But I think going back to the, to the question of national pride, it, it will be a huge achievement for this country. Many people I speak to in India say it's very important because they feel as though, you know, 10 years or so ago, this country struggled to produce even, even cars and simple electronic items successfully. Now, in a short space of time, when the, with the Indian economy growing, it is able to launch a spacecraft Put one on, put one to orbit the moon, and now try to attempt to get one to orbit Mars. And if they can achieve that, they feel as though that is a huge, huge feat for this country.